Hey there guys, Charge Junior Yuki. I uh Yeah I'm tired, it's fucking ten after one. Uh I'm a little I'm a little irritated, I guess you could say. I uh my brother called me. My little brother called me about Six thirty, seven o'clock, or somewhere around there. He asked me if I was going anywhere, if I could do him a favor. And I said, "Okay, I guess I could change my mind." What do you need? Well, I was wondering if I could go out and uh, take take your truck, because uh, my friend, his girlfriend, and some other chick. We're going to go out on a double date. And I don't really want to take my truck. After thinking about it, I was like, okay. Alright. Well, I want to go out. I'll meet you outside. I'll, I got to do some shit in my truck anyway. And... So I'm out there, I'm doing my sh doing whatever I need to do and talking to him and he told me what happened to his truck the night before and he does say, say thank you for letting him take it and he says I will put gas in it but I haven't started it, I just had to take a look at the truck when he came home and I had to deal with his truck. The brakes are squishy. And that's in his words. When you step on it, you really got to step on it. Because he blew a brake line Friday night. And he, he did fix it that very same night, but he obviously didn't get everything done because you should be able to feel a lot of pressure on that brake. You shouldn't have to wait till it's almost to the floor for you to, to make truck stop. And down here at the Legion... Chicken fry night. I don't know if you guys have that, but I uh, went and got some chicken, piss salad, beans, came home, and like I did the first, like when I got at the Legion, when I got home, for some reason, his truck, I know it, it was the same, same way in my truck, but my truck unlocked when I shut the damn thing off. His truck was still locked when I shut it off. Don't know why. I know it's an old truck. But. Anyway, I had to unlock the damn thing. I really didn't trust the damn thing of leaving the keys in it. So I took the keys out of it. I always take the keys out of my truck. Because I don't really trust anybody. It's why I'm touchy when people come over and start messing with my shit. It pisses me off. And they take shit without asking me. Especially when I know I'm going to use it. It pisses me off. And, uh... When I got out, I, uh... Didn't get the front the, the driver's side door all the way shut. I knew I hit it with my elbow to shut it, but I obviously didn't hit it hard enough to to uh, close it. And I knew it wasn't all the way open. And... Yeah, I was watching the vehicle. I was... If I, if I heard anything I didn't like, I'd always go to the window, or the back porch, whatever, turn the light on, look. But at some point, I felt kind of heavy when I was waiting on him, because I was worried about my truck. And started getting lightheaded, so I decided I was going to lay down. This is like right around 11 o'clock. About an hour or so later, I hear him pounding on the door. I grabbed his keys. 
but I also opened the door with me being on the opposite side of it, and I was looking around the doors to make sure who it was. It was him and his friend. And he go, the only thing he goes is, he says is, you know, if you're going to take the keys out of it, make sure the damn, you should lock the damn truck up. And he sounded irritated. And, oh yeah, by the way, the door was all the way open. All I said was okay. I thought I had it shut. I know it was late. In my opinion, I don't care if his date went well. I really don't. And it's funny how he agreed to go on it when he's been talking to a girl for the past couple of weeks. It just seems very frustrating. I go out, I put a pair of shoes on, I go outside, I turn the flashlight on, on my phone here, and I uh, go check my truck. I had to pick up a little bit of trash. I, uh, that I know wasn't in there before, I let him take it. And both of my lighter deals were out, which usually, uh, that's really not a big deal but the pastor side dr driver door was uh the, the seat i mean was set all the way back i know this friend's taller than he is i know it's a tight fit for t small fucking for tall people to fit in that truck that's a colorado and but the thing is if you're getting in a man's truck and he cleaned it up and has it looking somewhat nice. And you move the floor mats all the way up to the front. And you don't move them back and you leave them there. And you don't put the seats back to where it was. Even if you don't fucking remember. You put the shit back the way it was. You're driving another man's truck. You put the son of a bitch back where it was. Yeah, so what? Yeah, I kind of threw my opinion out on Facebook so he'd see it. Because if he wants to get all upset with me about a door being open and the keys being taken out of it, I know it's late at night, but there's really no reason. I know he's touchy about his vehicle, too. Any guy really is. But if you're frustrated about a date not going your way, about you not getting any that night, but you've been out in my truck till about 1 in the morning, did I let you borrow? Nah. He should appreciate that. My brother should appreciate the fact that I fucking let him take it. That damn right ride, and so it fuck is just pisses me off. I just filled that truck up with gas not too long ago. I wasn't really planning on going anywhere or doing anything besides maybe fishing, but because of the wind, it wouldn't have worked, wouldn't have went well. So I'm sitting here kind of ranting, basically. I let a, a paragraph on there. It's like, you want to get upset with me? Basically what I said is basically what I just was talking about. If you want to get upset with me, because like, sorry, I fucking left the damn driver's side door open. Sorry. Sorry I didn't get it closed all the way. Sorry I took the goddamn keys out. But since you want to get mad about that, how about I get mad? No, not a damn thing in my truck was put the way it was when I let you take it. I don't care if you let the goddamn... Air, your air freshener or whatever the fuck ever. I don't fuck care. But who's the one who was fucking kind enough to let you take it out on a double date? Huh? You should appreciate that. That just downright upsets me, guys. It really does.
I do something like let I do something nice for him. Yeah, I left the door slightly open. And I took the keys out. The thing is, I hate driving everybody else's vehicles. If I have to drive it because I let them take my vehicle, well, they better put shit back to the way it was in my vehicle. Because I, I really do hate driving somebody else's vehicle because it isn't mine. I think that's the last time that this is the first and last time I'm ever going to let him take my truck. Unless it's to fucking fix it. Because there is, seems to be a problem. Because ever since I bought the damn thing, just like my other truck, that the service engine light's been on. Changed oil, did this to that. Somehow there's something else wrong. To why that service engine light is always on. But I might let him take it just so he could figure out What's wrong with it? Hook it up to a computer or something to figure out what's wrong with it. But I'm sure as hell not letting him take it out for something like this. It downright pisses me off. I do something nice for him, and he's going to try and pull shit so I can get my ass chewed from the old man. Then I got to sit there and explain to the old man. He's only going to give me fucking three minutes to talk. Because he's gonna chew my ass because he think he'll think that I'm in the wrong when I'm the one who let him let that little shit take my truck to go out on the fucking double date. And that's my good that's my good truck. That's not my work truck. Yeah, I had I choose chose to take it to couple to work. Cause it's the only vehicle I have technically right now. But still but damn. Damn, 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 damn. It just downright pisses me off. You'd think you'd appreciate something when somebody is kind enough to lend you, to lend you something. To lend you, to, to lend your, the truck, let, let me, let you borrow my truck. Let you do this. The thing is, the guy owes me money, too, and he seemed to have forgotten that. Seemed that my sister, too, owes me money, and she's forgotten that, too. Oh, wait, my parents owe me money, too, but I'm never going to see that. That fucking pisses me off. Fucking pisses me off. You know, if I loan some money to somebody, I expect to get paid back. If I fucking let bar someone borrow my truck, they should appreciate the fact that I was kind enough to fucking let them do it. To let them fucking take it. Especially on a goddamn double date. I'm probably have to get up in the morning. Or in the next, I don't know, four or five fucking hours. To get out to go outside and check on my fucking truck to make sure that there's any that they this fucking friend or anybody else didn't fuck something up. Now yeah, you can see I'm so pretty fucking tired. I'm I'm kinda wired right now because of that. Wants to act a little upset just because of that. He should appreciate the fact that I let him borrow it. I'm not going to apologize for it. For posting my, my uh, comment. Because he wasn't going to stay long enough for it to hear it. Because he left after he said that. Yeah, it might have been wrong to put it on Facebook for everybody to see, but it don't really matter. It don't really matter. He's going to try to change it and come up with some bullshit. So when, so when the old man comes home from Texas with stories from, uh, from uh, hunting hogs, 
that he's going to have him come down and chew my ass or have him chew my ass in the morning when uh, on the way to work. Just fuck, dudes. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yes, I'm F bombing. Sorry. I'm gonna end it off here. I'm Trojuna Ryuki, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.